Hello and welcome to another update video about XRP. Yeah, a lot of other coins performed really well today. XRP didn't so much, but we're still holding the upper support region. We're dealing here with two support regions. Um, at the moment, the upper one is still holding, which could allow for one more high. All right. So um, as I mentioned in, last, in the last few videos, we have a three wave move up so far. My reading is that this is a three wave move. We don't have five yet, so but it doesn't matter. It's it's three, so it could be an A wave, okay? Or after five waves, it counts as A wave. Quick reminder, we're likely dealing with an overall ABC structure, or oh, actually I need to switch quickly to the long-term chart or you won't see it. Um, don't wanna spend much time on the long-term chart, but quick reminder where we are to get everybody on the same page. The idea is we are dealing with an Elliott wave, a so-called Elliott wave triangle. And in this triangle, which is a C wave, um, we're dealing with a WXY pattern. And in the Y wave, we have an ABC structure, obviously highly speculative, um, not a very clear, let's say Elliott wave setup, just corrective structures. Okay. And, and corrective structures are typically not very, <laughs> let's say very satisfying. They don't provide the greatest of setups, but it is, the best interpretation I can offer here at the moment. Other interpretations, if you watch other analysts, might be relevant um, and valid. There is certainly more than one answer here, given that we are dealing with corrective structures and they often leave a lot of room for interpretation. Um, if this is really a wave Y of C, then this A wave could be the first leg up, then a higher low in the pullback, and then the C wave up can send us higher into the $1 plus region. Problem is with these structures, A waves can be three wave movements or five wave movements. Um, XRP shows at the moment three waves up. All that means, I mean, that doesn't mean we go down to a new low or something. All it means is if it's a three wave move up, it might already be that A wave is complete. We can't rule that out and therefore the yellow B wave support has to be considered as well. And it is defined between 49.3 cents and 42.6 cents. It's a complex structure. I'm watching for an ABC structure in the yellow count. Okay, so that all it means is, all it means is that as long as we're holding 42.6 cents, a C wave rally can unfold. And before we start the B wave, we might get one more high. That would be the white count. Then the A wave could perform a five wave move, but that one more high should occur before we break below 50.6 cents. I hope that's clear. Um, five waves possible as long as we're holding 50.6 cents, only three waves up, which is not clearly bullish then, um, as long as we're holding 42.6 cents. and. It seems like in both counts, this decline could have been an A wave. The size of the decline could rather indicate we're dealing with the yellow count, which means the lower pullback. And the weakness of the rally could indicate also that we're dealing with the yellow count because A wave, then a weak B wave and a C wave down. And then we can go from there. At least it means we haven't clearly put a low in place. It also means we haven't clearly started a fifth wave yet. Corrective structures are unfolding here at the moment, and it's either a wave four or a B wave, two of the most difficult waves to navigate, yeah? B waves and wave fours. So don't expect much uh, clarity here in the very short term. Seems like the rally is over and it, a pullback was overdue, and we're now dealing with corrective structures first. Yeah? And the bounce we've seen here from the 38.2 retracement is corrective so far. Um, I see it as a B wave. Once the B wave has topped, we can calculate a target for wave C and it really depends on where that C wave ends, um, whether it's a fourth wave or a B wave. Now, if the B wave is higher here, the rally, the bounce, the higher it goes, the higher the probability that we can hold the upper support region. All right, um, if it's only a very weak B wave, then the C wave will likely break below upper support. So not, not, you know, it's not that one of them is better than the other. It's just, let's just see where that B wave ends. Standard resistance for the B wave starts normally at the 50% FIB level. Um, I need to add that to the chart. You know what I'll show you. Yeah, standard resistance is here, 58.7 cents to 61.6. But that's really just the standard resistance. We know that 
B waves sometimes overshoot. We've seen that today on the Bitcoin chart. Um, they can even make new highs, that's all possible. But this is initially the standard resistance area to watch between 58.7 and 61.6 cents. So yeah, just corrective structures here and we seem to be a bit range bound at the moment. That's my update about XRP. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.